All right, it's time for lesson two. So, what we want to do right now is create a lighthouse. So how we're going to do that is with shapes, just like we did yesterday, or the previously in assignment one. We're going to use shapes to create new shapes and combine other shapes to make different versions of these shapes. Okay, I know that's a lot of shapes, but we're shaping up to be to be in good position. So the first thing we want to do is create a rectangle because lighthouses are generally taller than they are wide. We're going to come up to the top, click and drag down. Just like that, we have our lighthouse base. But we need to move these two top anchor points in. So I only use the direct selection tool to edit just this point. So I click this point, that means it's selected. Then I click and drag again, I'm going to bring it in just a bit. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Click and drag this point in. Okay. Now we have a shape. So we just edited that shape. Isn't that great? Awesome. Now I'm not going to be worried about the color right now. I don't need to color these things in. But what I do need to do is make sure that there's no fill. So I'm going to change my fill to none. Okay. Then we're going to make more shapes. All right. So the next shape we want to make is a balcony at the top of our lighthouse. This is a way big balcony. That's okay. I'll edit it. So if you make your balcony a little bit too large, you can hold down your Alt key and click and drag it in just like that. And both sides will just come dragging in at the same time. Okay. Now we have our balcony started. The next thing we want to do is create another square to go at the top. It's going to look just like that. Now, my square is not perfect, so what I want to do is zoom in. You can do that by holding your Alt key and scrolling up or down. Or you can use the magnifying glass on the left side. I'll show you that in just a second. If you want to make sure that your 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 top of the structure is flush with the bottom. Okay, then we're going to make a little window inside of our top part of the structure. So we come up to the top corner, hold down shift to make it perfectly square, and make a window. All right, pretty easy, not going to lie. So now I'm zoomed in and I need to get back out. So I can do it one of two ways. I can hold down Alt. And I can scroll to get out, or I can use the magnifying glass. Once you zoom out, we're going to need to make a top for our lighthouse. So we're going to change the shape that we use. What we need to use is the polygon, the polygon tool. Okay. Notice when I click and drag the polygon tool out, it creates a polygon. That's fine, because in the polygon, you can select this little slider right here looks like a diamond next to your anchor points. And you slide it up, and it will take less sides. You slide it down, and it will add more sides. So we want to make a triangle. And then I want to make sure that we get it to zero degrees. And we're going to scrunch it down just a hair. And Viola, you've got your top of the lighthouse. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to use the ellipse tool to come in and add a curvature to my balcony. Okay. So I'll start on one side and go to the other. Now I'm going to have to move this because I didn't put it in the right exact spot. But you want it to intersect the lower point just like this. Okay. So take time. Pause the video now if you need to, and make your lighthouse look like my lighthouse. Okay? The next thing we need to do is we need to add stripes to our lighthouse. Now, this is where this gets a little bit tricky, because to use the tools we're going to use, you have to follow this, the instructions exactly from this point forward. In order to create shapes, your lines have to overlap your your the physical lines in Illustrator need to overlap so that they can 
see that there's a closure of the shape. So to make stripes, I'm going to hold down my shift key. Nope, no, I'm not. I'm going to hold down this key. I'm going to come just like this, and I make it one line. Okay? Shift made it go way too far up, so I just held it. I didn't hold down shift. I just drew this line across. So now you see this line intersects both sides of the lighthouse. What I want to do next is hold down the Alt key. I'm using the selection tool. And I'm going to hold down the Alt key. When I click on this, you'll notice holding down the Alt key changes the selection tool to two arrows. So when I click and drag down, it copies that object that I had selected. Okay? So I'm going to just come down just like that. And we're going to do that a couple more times. Try to get them as even as, you, as they should be, just like that. So, again, you can click and drag them out all you want, or you can copy and paste them down. But it make your lighthouse look like my lighthouse. All right. So, now we're going to get into a little bit trickier part. We have to create shapes. We've got a pretty base structure for a lighthouse. But we have to use this another tool to create these shapes. Because if I tried to color this in right now, this is what would happen. If I wanted to color in this stripe, it turns the whole thing that color. Because it's all one shape in the background. So what I need to do is I need to use the Shape Builder tool. So highlight everything you have, so click and drag. Then you're going to use the Shape Builder tool. It's right here. It looks kind of like a cloud with an arrow in it. And we're going to start at the bottom and work our way to the top. So if I hover over a piece, you'll notice it grays it out. I want to click once to make that its own shape. And do that for every piece all the way up. Now I have my stripes set. What I want to do right here is since this is going to be the same thing and you won't be able to see the curvature around the back side of the lighthouse, I want to click right here, hold it down, and drag into this piece. You'll notice I have a line that shows you that you're connecting these two shapes together. So there you have a whole shape. I want to do the same thing right here. I want to click right here and drag upwards because you're not going to see a bar come around. I want to click and see here and drag upwards. Click and see here and drag upwards. So now I have this piece set. What I want to do is make sure that I click here to make this its own shape, click here to make that its own shape, click the window to make it its own shape, and click the top to make it its own shape. So great, our lighthouse is almost ready to color in. However, we have these lines off the side. So we have to do something about that. If you hold down the Alt key, you'll notice that your plus on your Shape Builder tool turns into a minus. If you click on one of these lines or hover over it, you'll see that it's red. If I click on it, it disappears. Similarly to how we made this shape here, if you're holding the Alt key, you can click and drag all the way through these lines. And they'll all disappear. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And Viola, my lighthouse is ready to color in. And it's looking more like a lighthouse that every time we take a new step. So make your lighthouse look like mine, and I'll meet you back in a second. All right. Now we want to take and color in our lighthouse. So we've got to click this shape, and we're going to use black and white as our stripes. Something simple. The Cape Hatteras Lighthouse in North Carolina will be our inspiration. Okay, you can do that by holding down Shift on these shapes and selecting more than one at a time. Okay, we're going to take this shape and we're going to turn it blue because it's a little window. And we're going to take this and this and this, and I'm just selecting these all at one time. Okay, maybe we're not going to do that. And I'm going to make them gray, very light gray. Okay, and you want to make sure you're selecting the shape in here. 
and then you can use the eyedropper tool. Just like this, and it'll turn it the same color. Same fill, same line weight, same stroke. All right. With my balcony piece, I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click here, and click here, holding down the shift to select all of these at the same time. I'm going to make their weight just a hair bigger. Okay. Excellent. Actually, that doesn't look very good. So I'm going to do Control Z. You can keep it like that if you want. I'm not going to. I'll make all of my strokes the same size in a few minutes. The next thing we need to do is we need to add a little flagpole at the top. So I'm going to go up here, come right here, and we're going to go straight up. You can hold down Shift to make it a perfectly straight line. That's great. Then I want to come back and add another polygon to make a flag at the top. So we're going to use the polygon tool. And if you click, instead of clicking and dragging, you get a polygon options box. So you can go ahead and set your size to three. Click OK. And you notice that puts a really big triangle out here. That's fine. I can take and rotate it over. Make it just like this. My flag is going to be a dusty red color. got my flag. It's a windy day, apparently. All right. So, we're almost done with the lighthouse, and what we have to do is finish off and make it a beautiful scene. So, how do we do that? It's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to use the rectangle tool. We're going to go just right here and make a rectangle over the top. And it's fine that it's red. Don't worry about that. We can take it as our color right here, our fill, we go to none and make it none. Okay, so now I have this rectangle. The next thing I want to do is add some circles or ellipses. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to hold down shift to make a perfect circle. It goes just like this. And then I'm going to make two more circles on the side, just like this. I'm going to copy and paste that by alt-clicking and dragging. Nope. Got to hold down the alt key the whole time, guys. There we go. And now we're going to use the Shape Builder tool again. So select everything, then select the Shape Builder. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to hold down alt first. So I can just click and drag and delete all this stuff that's underneath the box. Once I'm in the box, I'm going to go plus here, plus here. I'm going to click and drag all of this so that it becomes one shape. All right. And then the last thing I want to do is alt-click this line so that it goes away. Now, the next thing you'll do is you'll edit this shape, and we're going to make it gray so it looks like rocks. And we're going to select this shape, shift, and select this shape. And we're going to make this blue so it looks like the ocean or the sky. And just like that, you've created a lighthouse that pops out of the postcard scene. Okay? Once you're done, select all of it, change your stroke all the way up to two points. All right. Great job today, guys. You want to export this as a PNG and turn it in on Canvas under Assignment 3 lighthouse. Way to go.